Hey, my lovelies. Did you miss me? Because I missed you. Today on Kiwi Talks, we have so much for you guys. I have such a good topic to talk with you guys. We have our daily affirmations, of course. And I have a special guest with some games. It's going to be a party over here. Because y'all know. I feel like it's going to be lit over here today because y'all know it's nothing but the vibes in here. You hear what I said? Nothing but the vibes. So let's get into Kiwi Talks. guys so this is our daily affirmation hour and today's hour is going to be called drum roll the hot chocolate hour do you see this yummy goodness oh my goodness do you see that oh what do we have here so we have some white hot chocolate but i added a few drops of like lavender because that's the theme right now so we have a lavender hot chocolate <laughs> we have some well it's melted now but it was some cute like um whipped cream and then we also have some a little marshmallows rainbow marshmallows with some rainbow sprinkles oh this is gonna be so good my recipe will be in the description this is one of my favorite drinks when it's cold outside and lately where i live it's been very cold so this is gonna warm me up real quick and we're gonna do our hot chocolate hour and our daily affirmation so let's get into it so while I take a sip of my hot chocolate, mm, mm, just the right temperature. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Oh, that just warms me up. I feel real toasty. <laughs> mm. Well, while I take a sip of my hot chocolate, we're going to pull from our affirmation cards. So let's pull from the first affirmation card of the day. And today's affirmation card says, My beauty radiates from within. This is so amazing and this card is so me. And I'm going to tell you guys why. I feel like on the outside, I do look good. I know I look good, you know, because... I'm into beauty anyway. So if I didn't feel beautiful, then... Oh, I think I was beautiful. I probably wouldn't be into beauty, right? So I know that I'm beautiful. But do I know that my beauty radiates from within? So not only do I believe that I look beautiful on the outside, I also will be believing this. Because even if it's, even if, okay, let's say you're a person who doesn't believe that your beauty is from within, that you believe that your beauty is exterior, on the exterior of you, right? This affirmation card, you need to tell yourself this every day, that your beauty radiates from within. Be that person. And what does beauty within mean? Right. So beauty within means that you inside as a person is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Forget what you got on the outside. Forget the face. Forget the makeup. Forget the hair. Forget the fashion. Forget all of that. Forget the swag. Forget all of that. What about you inside? Your heart. The person. Your soul. The person that you are. Your character. Like, what is that doing? Because you could see a shiny glazed like candy red apple but when you take a bite into that apple it's nothing but a rotten apple inside you know what i'm saying you know those type of people who 
are cute on the outside and have a rotten attitude on the inside. Or people who are rotten on the outside and rotten in the inside. Like, sorry. I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that person that is rotten on the inside. Like, when people talk to me and they see me and they go, ooh, she look high so ditty or she don't look approachable. I don't want people to feel that way about me. I want people to feel like when they say hello to me, I'm saying, hey, girl, hi, what's up, boo? Or, you know what I'm saying? I'm being open and real with you. I'm not like, what do you want? Like, what's up? What's good? Like, what happened? I don't know you. Who you? Like, I'm not trying to be that person. <laughs> Because that doesn't make me happy either. So this card is teaching me, like, it's saying my beauty radiates from within. Like, forget all that outside stuff because we can pack on tons of makeup. We can pack on all the designer fashions. We can do all of that to our outside for people to see us. And the inside is really what people gravitate towards you know what i'm saying but some people do gravitate to people who have the fat fancy outfits the fancy hair nails and eyelashes and and exterior stuff but you know the attitude for me is a no like if you got an attitude or you have a rotten core i'm good i stay away from people like that so this card is amazing because I believe this card is true to me. Like I've always been this way. Like I don't I don't judge people. I always see the good in people. I'm very optimistic. I even for rotten people, I say like something something out there gonna make them change. Like you know what I'm saying? Something. You know what I'm saying? Make sure your beauty is radiating from within. That's a that's a huge tip. You know what I'm saying for you? Oh my god, this hot chocolate is delicious. Look, it's almost gone. It's almost gone. I got a lot of shit going on in the background. It's pissing me off. Anyways. Oh my god. Really good. You guys gotta try this. So this is white hot chocolate. It's white hot chocolate with a dash of like some purple food coloring um i have obviously the ready whip whipped cream that everybody knows about i think you got to be like 18 or older to buy that now don't ask me i don't even know why they even did that um i don't know there's some reason they did that <laughs> and the marshmallows they have a, like a minty flavor to them so i really love that and a rainbow sweet flavor so these marshmallows are really good and they're like melting they're melting. Oh, it's delicious. I'm almost done. Mmm. That flavor is amazing. This is good. This is really good. Mm. Getting hints of sprinkles. I'm getting hints of marshmallows. I'm getting hints of everything. This is delectable. And I'm still toasty. Like, I'm feeling real warm and sweet inside. Like, make sure you make sure you make one of these, okay, for the winter. But let's move on to the next segment. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. What are you guys waiting for? This is where the party finna be all year long. You crazy? Like, subscribe now. What's up? So, now we're moving on to Tea Talk time. What we're going to be talking about in Tea Talk time today, one thing I want to talk about that has been on my mind, like, it's been itching my brain, if I would say. <laughs> so, this first topic is called The Real Husbands of Dipset. <laughs> I know you guys are like, what is that? Don't worry, baby. I'm going to tell you all the tea and we're going to get into it for sure. Okay? We're going to bring up Cameron and his love life. Cameron was hitting on me along. Joel Santana and his love life. Joel Santana and Kimbella broke up. And then, of course, Jim Jones and his love life i guess jim jones and chrissy are still dating 
I can't make this shit up. <laughs> Let's get into it. But that's what we're going to be bringing up. It, this is some mess. This is some mess we about to go. Let's 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 go over there, okay? Yeah, the first real husband of Dipset that we're going to be talking about is Jim Jones. I try lightly. I ain't going I ain't going to do too much cuz I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems with me, okay? But let's talk about it. So, Chrissy. Let's talk about Chrissy. The beautiful, the bossed up, like, mogul Chrissy Lampkin, right? Now, granted, Chrissy Lampkin is about 52. I believe she's 52. And to me, she is perfect, okay? Girls will literally pay to look just like Chrissy Lampkin. I mean, from the beautiful brown skin to the voluptuous lips to the thick thighs, the big booty, the small waist, like girls pay to look like Chrissy. Feel me? So I'm gonna give her her kudos because baby is no shade over here. It's nothing but respect. It's nothing but happiness kudos everything to you right so chrissy lampkin is about 52 years old and that is jimmy's long time girlfriend okay but i just want to know and i don't know about anybody else like are they ever going to get married now i believe that on love and hip-hop reunion Jimmy asked her, like, hey, do you want to get married? And she shut his whole shit down. And to me, I was super, super, super surprised because I remember watching Love and Hip Hop and, like, Chrissy was the first woman in the world. <laughs> no, the world. To literally propose to her man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, no females was doing that back then. She was like the first. And I remember Mama Jones being so mad that she went behind her back. That, you know, Chrissy went behind Mama Jones back to do it. But I guess she had her reasons, right? Listen. she I'm not going to lie. With that move, she put us females back like about 10, 15, 20 good years. But if you want something, you got to go get it. You feel what I'm saying? So I respect Chrissy on that. I respect. But it was really It was really something new for me As a female watching like Dang So now I gotta propose to my man Like I might have to do that Like it's come to that That we have to literally like Propose to our men Because they're taking 14 years To propose to us Is like crazy I did feel some type of way about that situation back then, but whatever. So, I remember Chrissy was like, she really wanted to get married. And Jim Jones was kind of looking at her like, girl, just because you proposed to me, I'm not going to be moving on your time. Like, child, please. I like the ring, though. You know what I'm saying? And I know everybody around America remember that freaking moment. And then... I think, like, maybe, I don't know if it was the same season, but by the end of that season, I believe, if not the next, I believe Jim Jones winds up proposing to Chrissy. But he gave her, like, I think he proposed to her in, like, Miami or something. The girls went to Miami or whatever, her and her friends, the other girls that were on the show, and Jim Jones pulled up. To, it was so staged, it was mad corny, but he did pull up to Miami where the girls were at, Chrissy and her girls or whatever, and he proposed to her, but he gave her, like, a real Martin and Gina proposal, like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, not the one where they was in the park and um this guy was singing to her, no, 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 no. He gave her one of those proposals, like... Please, all right? Your little plan worked. What are you talking about, Martin? Gina, please, here, sit. Okay, baby? You plotted and you schemed and clank, clank. You finally got me, Gina. Okay, fine. Gina, I will marry you. 
Damn. I mean, are you happy now? That that proposal right there. Like, come on, bro. Like, and I was super shocked at that too, because I'm like, okay, well, it took you this long. Like, the girl already em- not embarrassed herself, but kind of embarrassed herself in front of the world for you. And it took you this long, and then you give a little proposal like that. And it's cool. Like, it's really not that serious. But I'm trying to figure out, like, are they married yet? Because, like, they've been together for so long. And it's been, like, crickets. Besides her saying she doesn't even want to get married anymore. And I'm kind of like, I I feel her, though. I feel her, like, when you you waited 15 years. <laughs> 15 years. It was, like, a good 10 years, 10 or 9 years. You wait for a man to actually settle down and go down the aisle with you and, you know, commit to you and say their vows to you till death do us part you. I get it. It's like after a while you just don't even care no more because you've already let him milk you for free. Like, you know, the cow, how they say, you know, why give him the uh, cow when, you know, he gets the milk for free. Whatever the fuck, you know what I'm talking about. Like, I get it. So, I mean, I wish them nothing but the best. They seem very happy. Chrissy seems happy, like, whatever. It's just something that I think about all the time. Like, wow, that's the longest-running couple for um, engagement. Seriously, like, they, I believe they're still engaged. I don't even know if they have the rings. Do they still have the rings? That's another topic. Sometimes I wonder, like, is Chrissy ever going to have, like, children with Jim Jones? It's not that she can't. Just because you're 52, don't let people tell you you can't have a baby. As long as she's still getting her period, her menstrual, she should be able to have a baby. You know, it may be a little bit riskier, but it can happen. And she got enough money to make it happen. So, um, I wonder if she wants any kids, like... You know, what you guys think? You think Chrissy wants kids? Do you think she's going to have kids? Do you think she's going to get fed up with Jim Jones? Like, what is that relationship going to be? Like, or is it just, it's, it's, it is what it is, and maybe everybody should just mind their business, and whatever they have, they have. Like, don't think too much into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're happy. They're not bothering anybody. We're not hearing no cheating scandals. So just leave it at that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. So let's move on to the other Dipset member, Joel Santana. I y'all know him, right? Okay, so let's talk about him because <laughs> let's make it make sense, okay? So recently, I don't know if you guys heard, but Kim Bella, his uh, I believe now she's gonna be his ex-wife. I wouldn't call her his ex-wife. I would say his wife or the mother of his children. You know what I'm saying? The mother of his children. Came out on Instagram and posted, you know, a cute little one-two-one-two in a bathing suit in Miami. And a nice little two-piece or whatever. (laughs) And she posted um, a cute picture of her on the beach. And in the captions, it said, single. So, I guess she came out as single. They broke up, obviously. Now, this this is this, right? I understand. You know, me being a woman, right, I, I've been single. <laughs> I've been in relationships and then I've been single, right? But what I notice about us women, or I, I guess I can only speak for myself, but maybe I can speak for other women. You guys should tell me if this is true. But when we break up with our spouses or our boyfriends or, you know, our people, we... We're not the, I don't think that a lot of women are the type to immediately come out and tell the world that we're single. Like, it's steps to a breakup. Like, sometimes you break up, right? And then you guys are still in the same house with each other. Sometimes you break up and you don't talk to each other. But then you get back together, like two weeks later, or maybe two days later, or two months later. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot for us women to actually come out on 
platform, social media, or to our friends or to anybody publicly that we're single. We're just single and we're ready to mingle. You know, like, it takes a lot for that. To, to, like, when you actually come out and tell the world I'm single, you are single. You're definitely single. Like, you know that for sure. Like, there's no going back. So, I think there's no going back for this situation. I just want to say that first. But let's talk about Kimbella and Joel Santana's relationship in the first place because they've been together for a long time. And I believe they have three kids. I might, if I'm not mistaken, they might have three boys or two boys and one girl. I'm not really sure. I didn't do too much research into it. You guys can let me know in the comments. But. They've been together for a long time, and they were such, like, you know, a cool couple, you know, just like the hood, you know, situation. The ride or die girl with her rapper baby daddy, you know what I'm saying? She rode out for him. He, Kimbella, I could say she's a rider. Like, she rode till the wheels fell off, literally. <laughs> she rode till the wheels fell off, you know what I'm saying? And... Respect to her, you know, nothing but respect to her because she held that man down. But I just can't go without saying, like, do you guys remember when Jewels had that case where he, I don't know, something happened in the airport with a gun and all this stuff? If I'm not mistaken, I remember that whole situation where he was on like house arrest and like. Okay, he's on house arrest, but he's on house arrest at his mom's house. And this is before they got married, before he proposed to her on Apollo stage, I believe. <laughs> the Apollo. That's iconic. To propose, be, to be from Harlem and to propose to your baby mama on the Apollo stage is definitely iconic. But I remember when he was on probation, it was on Love and Hip Hop. And I'm not probation, house arrest. And he was on house arrest at his mother's house. And the reason why he was on house arrest at his mother's house is because he couldn't stay with Kimbella. Even though they were in a healthy relationship, Kimbella would come to his mother's house to, you know, do the do with him. And for, his, for him to see his kids, too. And it was very awkward for him. I think that's what he said because he's a grown man and he's got to play house with his baby moms of two kids in his mama's house. And it was so weird. He could not go, he could not have house arrest at his baby mom's house because, Kimbella, because she wasn't his wife, and he had to stay with his mother, and this man was fully grown, this is a fully grown man we talking about, we not talking about no 16, 17, 18, 19, 21 year old, we talking about like 37, <laughs> 38, shit, 39 year old, having to stay in his mother's house because... However he may be, however old he may be. But it was bad. And I think soon after that situation, he proposed to Cambella Because it's like, how stupid do you look, bro? Like, you're a grown man. You have two kids with this woman. You still haven't put a ring on her finger. And hello, what are you waiting for? Now the law has to tell you that you're a little boy. You're you're playing little boy, so you have to stay with your mother. And I know that was very embarrassing for him. Maybe that's what snapped in his head, like, I need to marry this woman because of the rights that are being taken away from me. I can't even be with her because I got to stay with my moms is mad childish. So that was crazy. I seen that on Love & Hip Hop, and I don't, I was flabbergasted. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I was like, this man needs to grow up. <laughs> like, this little Mr. Postman need to grow up. Like, for real. Oh, boy. <laughs> like, it was bad. It was bad. So, Kimbella really stood ten toes down for that man. And at the end of the day, like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you win some, you lose some, sis. And just, just keep it going. You got... You bid three of his children, you're going to be I sis. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I don't really know what Jewels and Kimbella broke up for, 
But I think Joelle's just had, like, a project. And if I remember, like anybody else remember, Kimbella used to say, whenever Joelle's is in the studio, he always around some chicken head bitches. So maybe, you know, maybe just maybe again. And it's like, you know, the men never learn, you know what I'm saying? But... That's none of my business. Who we got to talk about now? The big CAM, the big Cameron. Like, come on. Like, what is this said without Cam, right? But listen, lately Cam has been in, you know, the, you know, in, in on the internet everywhere, his head, right? So he has a podcast called, or like a sports type of center whatever podcast that's called it's what it is featuring like maze not featuring but co-hosting with maze and some pretty like lady hosts okay and he's been obviously on the internet all over the place with that situation and then he's also been out there arguing with um joe budden and uh Melissa Ford, okay, we heard about that, but what about the Nia Long situation, like him flirting with Nia Long and in her DMs and stuff, and I'm kind of like, pump your brakes, like calm it down, because nobody has more time to waste with you, Cam, I'm sorry, like, <laughs> like Nia Long is precious to us. Do you understand? It's Nia Long. We don't have time for you to bring your little tentacles to her. I'm sorry. No shade. No shade for real. No shade. Nothing but sun. Fun in the sun. Okay? But listen. Do you remember a girl named Juju <laughs> who ran very far away from you? Off into the sunset with a beautiful man who gave her a, a a baby and married her. Yes, that Juju, okay. That situation, this man had held her to himself for about, I felt like it was 20 years, okay. And didn't marry her, didn't give her a kid. For Christ's sake, this lady had her first child at 40 years old, risking her life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Risking her life to have her firstborn child, which is a beautiful blessing. Thank God she found the right man for her. Because who would have known if she ever, she'd have been like Chrissy. Honestly, no kids, just living life, no wedding band, no nothing, no proposal, nothing. Do you hear me? Nothing? Okay, and you think that you can go to Nia Long, who just got out of a marriage, who, like, just had a divorce, a serious, tumultuous, I believe that's the word, divorce. No, Cam, please don't do it. Don't do it. Let, leave that lady alone. <laughs> do you hear me? Leave her alone. <laughs> Leave me alone, alone. So, Juju, oh my God, amazing. I believe she's like Cuban and Dominican or something. I, she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Do you understand? And it, she was beautiful when she was with Cam, but he strung her along for so long. I just, I just don't understand it. And I think they broke up for something so freaking petty, like. She was she was just acting out or something like that. Like and then he decided like to kick her to the curb after she wrote I'm telling you, these girls be riding. The dipset women be riding for these men. They rode you know how the girl be like I done rode and died, rode and died, rode and died, bus fair me, please. Shh, that was them. That they all a matter of fact all three of them, except Chrissy, matter of fact, have rode and died and rode and died. And now they have gotten their first bus pass. Chrissy is still r rotting and dying. She's not really dying because, I'm going to be honest, Chrissy is getting taken care of. I, I believe she is. She's I've never heard any scandals of Jim Jones cheating on her or anything like that. But she still don't got no kids. She don't got nothing. 
she got money. She got love, but no kids to share it with. Okay, whatever. But Juju, she she got out of there. She got out of there quick with the quickness. Well, not the quickness, because it took her some years. But she got out of there. And she is super, it looks like she's super happy now. She's finally living her life, the life that she probably wanted for over 15 years. Or however long they were dating. So, I don't know, Cam. Just please leave me alone. Alone, Like, find somebody else. Find somebody else. Don't, 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 don't mess with a woman after she has gotten a divorce and... No, don't do it. This is me alone we're talking about. <laughs> Please leave her alone. Her skin is so good. Everything about her is amazing. Just don't do it. Please. Please. No, Cam. Stay far, far away. I'm serious. I'm going to come get you if you don't leave her alone. <laughs> But that's all for the real husbands of Dipset. So I hope you guys enjoyed the topics. And let's move on to our next segment. Hey, guys. So I have a special guest for you guys. This dude is seriously talented. He's a rapper. He's from Harlem. He's my twin brother from another mother. Okay, we share the ex same exact birthday virgo nation and every time we're together we always have a great memorable time this is my big bro i would like to introduce him so without further ado let me introduce to you book of not can you feel it in the air good music good food man it's everywhere, it's everywhere. people came yeah, to have a ball so the vows in here kids everywhere folks got their parents out there Music feeling good, vibes feeling real great, no beef in sight, the ops staying out of place, ain't no bullshit, so police staying in your face, DJ doing right, got the people up dancing. Baby, if you got it, let me see you shake some. You from Harlem, let me see you shake some. Say you from the Bronx, let me see you shake some. You from Brooklyn, let me see you shake some. If you from Queens, let me see you shake some. You got it. Let me see you shake something. Yeah. Okay. You on? What's poppin'? Hey. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's up, big bro? Shout out to the gang. Shout out to the world, man. Shout out to Kiwi Talks podcast, man. Woo. Fuck with it, man. Shout out to Kiwi Talks. No. Right. How you doing? I'm blessed, man. Look you know. You. Heavenly favor. That's you what's what up. Saying? You looking good? You ready? I'm trying to ready stay to above just... ground, you know. Got to do yes. what I got to do to make it work. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm so happy to share you with my audience. So, Blessings. what's up? Like, talk to me. Introduce yourself. Let the people know who you are. My name Bogum Knots. You already mm -hmm. know, aka Bogum One Five Five. I'm from Harlem, P O L O G. You know what I'm yeah. saying? A little artist right now, I'm trying to make my way in the game. Do what I gotta do. My music is great. Got albums about to come out real quick. Love me, I love you back for the drop. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy L Black O Productions. Hey. Bong, bong, bong. What's good? I'm just here trying to make the people dance. You know, I just want the ladies to dance. That's all. No drill. No hard, crazy shit. Just dance. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Right. Dancing, good vibes, everything. That's all. Good eating. That's it. <laughs> no, I'm so happy to have you here. It's been like long, long far due. We should have been did this, but we here now. So I just want to um ask you a few questions so that everybody could get to know you and um you know, just put yourself out there for everybody. Just like you said, because you're a new artist and you have great music. I love your music. My kids be running around here dancing every time I turn your shit right. something on. Shout out, to, shout out to little Nana. She big Nana now. Now she big right. Nana. She definitely big Nana. So, okay, right. let's get this interview started. You know what I'm saying? I have a my first question, basically, to you, um, so people could get to know you, is... Basically, can you share how you came up with your name, Book of Knots, and what your stage name means to you? Well, my first, my first, they used to call me Knots first. K N O T S, kill a nigga on the spot. Shout mm -hmm. out to my nigga Sun God, man. My man, he gave me book. And I, I booked a few people a few times, you know, so they just gave me book. It wasn't thinking about the old movie show, Bookman. It's Booker. 
One five five. I love the acronym for it. It just means what it says. Bogle. Bogle right. Morgan book. <laughs> Booker Morgan book. Right. And that's that's was forever. Nats was forever with me. I had a big head on my life. You know what I'm saying? Aww. So my crew, my crew used to call me Nats. And it stuck with me ever since head. I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's know. what's up. That's what's up. When, so. I'm, when, I'm on, when I'm on stage, I'm just I'm booking the audience from these other rappers. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Come fuck yeah. with me. Listen to this. Come fuck with us. We gonna right. book your crew. And I don't mean robbing y'all, cause we ain't into that right now. We ain't doing none of that. I'm talking about music wise. Right, 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 right. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know that, so now I know that. Now I know exactly where his name comes from, and that's what's up. I appreciate that. You staying home, you know, keeping it home, close, grown. You know what I'm saying? I like that. I like that. So uh, my next question to you is, can you share some of your musical influences and inspiration that have shaped your style as a rapper? Like, who who did you listen to growing up that made you say, this is what I want to do? Well, shit. You got to follow that. I've been a DJ. (laughs) I grew up listening to everything. Mm -hmm. Literally. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, it's I want the money right now. <laughs> I know, know that's right. I'm going to keep it all the way up. Buck. My inspiration is me. You know what I'm saying? My influence, shout out to my nigga Mr. Oz. That's my influence. He make me want to rap better. I'm not going to even front. Shout out to Lady Cypher, too. She the one who taught me how to write. You know what I'm saying? I got my producer with me. He just keep feeding me these dope-ass beats. My influence is lit. I'm, that's all I need. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. okay, so basically it's just in you. Basically rap is in you. Hip-hop is in you. And you know what I'm saying? You come into the table with nothing but bars, right? Facts. <laughs> that's Facts. what's up. Okay. I love to hear that. Um, so hip-hop is just who you are. So um, so like you said, you said who can you say that again? Like, what inspired you to start rapping? And, like, how did you discover it? Like, what was the first song, like, as a kid, even if it's as a kid, like, made you say, nah, oh, this right here? Oh, I shit. smoke too much type of weed, so I can't, I can't remember <laughs> that far back. <laughs> that was it. Okay, okay. But, honestly, real talk, my brothers. Shout out to my mm. brother, Chewy. You know what I'm saying? My brothers and them used to rap. And everybody that's in my crew, we all rap, you know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, that's the way to keep me from doing dumb shit in the streets. Right. And the money, like you said before, because that, that's definitely important. Trying I can't to get wait. Family. Right. I can't wait. <laughs> I know, you can't. <laughs> I can't wait either. I'm going so, to So, okay. What? So, let's move on. Um, Let's see. Collaborations. Hmm. I know you have a song called Shake Something, and it's with China. What's her name? Can you tell me her name again? Shout out to China Blaze. Yeah, it's China Blaze. So you have a collaboration with China Blaze on your song Shake Something. But are there any other artists, maybe that's in the music industry, or maybe, you know, the local rappers that you would ever, like, try to want to work with? Everybody. Everybody? Everybody. <laughs> but I, I really want to I really want to do a joint with my boy Dave East. Oh wow. That's, my, that's one of my him him and Vado. Those are one of my best Harlem Harlem rappers right now. But I got many collaborations with my team. You know what I'm saying? We got a, a thousand I got a thousand joints. I'm about to be with my Ja Rule in the middle. Swamp City Big Well, shout out to Swamp City. You know okay. what I'm saying? Shout out to Bigfoot, Super, mm-hmm. Mr. Oz, SGM, everybody. We all got collabos. We trying to do what we do. I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying to make good music. Summer is gonna be mine. Yes. A few good singles that's gonna drop, and it's gonna be lit. I can't wait. The next day. Yes, I Facts. can't wait to hear that new music. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be right there as your big support team. Okay. Facts. So, um, can you? So I don't know. Um. I heard two songs that you have, uh, like I said, was Shake Something and um, Can You Feel It in the Air. I swear I love that song. That song, you already know what that reminds me of. Yeah. Every, that just reminds me of every birthday we ever had. <laughs> together. So Batch. the cookouts, the good food, the kids, 
acting crazy, the crackheads outside, just bugging out, everything. Facts. Like having a ball. Just a, just a good time, right? So is there uh any other particular song that you have in your catalog that is really personal and means something to you? And if so, like what what does it mean to you? Yes, I do. Well, mm -hmm. first, people go get that hashtag one one and one oh two, man. El Black of Productions, mixtapes. Yes. But my song, my song, I wish. You know what I'm saying? Rest my mother's soul. It's for all yes. the people that lost someone, you know. Rest yes. the K's soul. You know what I'm right. saying? So it's, that's that song is a is a heart song. That's a awful song to me. That's a personal song of mine. You mm -hmm. wanna hear it? Well, I got, of course. It's, it's it's a a song for anyone who lost lost someone. You know what I'm saying? That's going through, them, you know, grieving. Yeah, play it. I would love to hear I Wish. Because I just lost my father, and my father exactly everything. You feel me? Exactly. Like, my whole world. So, um, of course. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Shout out to Lady Cypher on the hook. She's singing this shit. El Black did the beat. So, he's one of my dress I wrote for my mom and my aunt. You know what I'm saying? He's one of these songs I sit and listen to. Sometimes I cry about it. Oh, you could cry. <laughs> cool. It don't hurt to cry. It's one of those type of songs. You know what I'm saying? It's the last song of my album, so. If we could bring the people that we love back, exactly, exactly, like, or you at least talk to them, right? <laughs> exactly. Like, wow, that's a beautiful, heartfelt song. And um, let Thank me ask you, can where can people hear your music at? Like, um, I'm all over YouTube. I'm on Apple Music, Spotify. Mm -hmm. All they gotta do is seven book them one five five book them knots book them. I'm all over the place. Okay, and so we can Andre find Cook. Now. Okay. Andre Cook on YouTube, you see all my cook with the <laughs> eat. See all okay with the eat. Don't forget to eat. You get my whole catalog. Everything is there. You see everything I've done is right there. Right. Okay, that's good. Cause yeah, I'm gonna be listening to that. You know, actually today is January 24th. My father died on January 25th. Tomorrow. Yes, Please, so, my boy Floyd, man. Two years Facts. ago. So I appreciate you for writing a song like that. Um in hip hop, it's so much like drill music and like, I guess they would say pussy rap. <laughs> yeah. Like we don't get these feel good songs anymore. Um, and that's, that's what you're missing, to bring that. right? From hip hop, and I appreciate that because you know what? Tomorrow when I memorialize my father, I'll listen to that song, and I know it's gonna make me boohoo and cry, but I think I need it. You know what I mean? It, it definitely, to, it's, a, it's an emotional song. It's really deep. Definitely. I love that for you. Um, okay. So let me ask you about your song Shake Something. Um, I see I just tell me a little bit about it. Like where was it recorded? What like what it took to make the video and, and just the song in general. It's self explanatory. I'm just want people to shake something. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> dance. Dance. Right. You know what I'm saying? My boy El Blago did the beat. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. I mean, he came, we came up with a joint. Shake some. I'm like, oh, all right, cool. So I asked my man, can I borrow the crib for a second? And we did a little you party. Kept a hood, kept it, you know like a house party. Made it look right. like a little house party type scene. You know, shout out to China Blaze, too. Been looking for the yeah. 16. And my boy Yoki. Yeah, Yoki. shout out to Yoki, man. He do, he do great videos, man. He actually came up with the idea. Because I ain't know what to do with it. I'm going to keep it a band with you. He came up with the idea for the whole party and everything. So shout out to him for that. Yogi Films, go fuck with him, man. He got some shit. He a good cameraman. And your videos will come out. He did both of my videos. Okay, cool. So I love that video. Nana, my daughter be in here shaking something every time. I'll be like, damn, Nana, you should have been in the video. What happened? Till I got another, I got another one for. I got one coming up. <laughs> Right, definitely call these kids because all they do is shake all day around the house, driving me crazy. Now I know we're just dancing for like 20 minutes straight before this interview, so she just don't stop dancing thanks to you and my you know, baby, man. my sister. But okay, so what's my next question? Let's move on. Um, oh, right, so is there any so is there any um current projects that you're working on? Um, and when are we going to hear some new music? There's new music every day, literally. Mm -hmm. I got a mixtape I'm about to, after I do my, I got to finish up one song on my little EP. I'm going to put that out in the beginning of the summer, following up with a mixtape, me and my boy, Mr. Highs, Southside the Polo, Polo the Southside. And then I got my own mixtape dropping called Booker. Plus we got that hashtag 101, 102. So the summer's, the summer's out. We're going to tear the summer up. We got shit every day for the summer, literally. Like, I do, I do music every day. I'm trying to come up with something new every day for the people, man. I don't right. like cursing too much and none of that. I just want y'all to dance and tell the DJ, yo, play that back, man. That shit was crazy. And dance some more. That's right. it. Just everybody have fun. You know what I'm saying? Song, just music, live a little. You want me to give you an exclusive one right now? Sure. Let's hear that. Let's hear some good music. <laughs> All right, this is some feel good music. Like I said, we we bringing it back to the essence. You know what I'm saying? That's what we try to do. And I thank you for you know having us on your show. So I'm gonna give you. Oh, of course. Listen, both of us. Shout out to Kiwi Talk Podcast, man. Yes. You your interviews done. Come get your fucking interviews done the right way, man. Right way. Fact. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Yes. Diamonds match the pearls. They can never stop us, baby. This is our world. Thin in the sky, good touch with the side. They wanna ask why, just tell us I'm not gonna listen to the ocean. Oh, feel the music for the ladies. I tell you, I'm coming up here on my job. Who in the middle? Try not to be disrespectful, my dude. Fire. That's all over the place. That's on YouTube. That's on Apple. That's on whatever you listen to. Just type in Booker. I'm right. There. That is so cute. Look at you singing to the ladies. <laughs> yes, we need the men to start singing to us again, okay? All right. That part. No. But um <laughs> okay, so you're gonna be having some new shows coming up too. Like, what you trying to do with that? Are you trying to like um Get some shows for people to come out trying, and see. I'm trying to do every day. Everything. I'm about to do a showcase next month in February. I want everybody to come out. Okay. If you're an artist, come out. If you do podcasts, come out. If you mm -hmm. just take pictures, come out. 
if you love music, come out. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm trying to do everything. I'm trying to get my foot into everything. Whatever right. is about music, I'm trying to be there. Whatever is about an interview, I'm trying to be there. I know <laughs> I was fucking up. It took a long time no, coming no, no, out no, to get no. my phone in order. You know what I'm saying, boy? It don't even matter. We here now, and I, I will wait coming. for you regardless. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to drop a few, few more videos. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I'm definitely going. I'm definitely moving. I'm definitely working. I'm definitely trying to get this shit off the, off the ground and go. No, I, I definitely, I see that for you and just keep working and I'm going to keep supporting because that's what we need to do. We need to start supporting each other and stop waiting for all these high record label people. I got people you too on my to camera. Come... <laughs> Facts. All these record label right, people. Shout out know... your podcast. Oh, this is Kiwi Talks podcast. This is going to be my third episode. So, you know, Bookham is on my third episode and I'm so happy to have him. And right. yeah, so you know that shit. <laughs> it's on YouTube. You can find me on YouTube, Kiwi Talks. So um what else? Okay, so let me see. Um Okay. So you basically already told me like but you know what message you aim to convey. Basically good music and um just a good vibes and good times. Um, so for the people that are currently watching and would like to follow your journey, where can they find you on social media? Book them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Andre Cook on Facebook. Okay, cool. Book them on Snap. Book them everywhere. Book them everywhere. And Every. Andre Cook with an E. <laughs> yes. Yes. So they can get to know you and shit. Facts. I'm so happy. Okay, so we got two new songs from you. Well, not new, but two songs that I've never heard, which is I Wish, and the other one was... Um, you the one. You the one. I love it. So, okay. So I have another segment for you before we get out of here or whatever. It's just a quick little game. Um, I got some questions for you, and I want to see if you can answer them right on the spot. Okay? i try. So. <laughs> All right, so since this is a hip hop interview and you're part of hip hop now, right? You know it. All right, so I want to know. All right, you got to think quick on your feet now. I ain't giving you too much time to answer this, but okay. So, are you ready? Yes, go. Bitch. All right, first question <laughs> Who is often referred as the father of hip hop? Go. DJ Cool Herc. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was good. That was good. That was good. You see? Mm -hmm. I got oh, a great producer over there. Man. Stop it. <laughs> got a great producer over there. Okay, so, okay, so, Mr. Producer and Bookham, what are the five elements of hip hop? Graffiti, break dancing, rapping, also um, spray painting. And you said that already. You said graffiti. I, I said graffiti. What else? How many I said? Four. You said three. You said dancing, graffiti, and something else. Break, Rapping. Uh, break dancing. No. Break dancing. Be bopping. Be bopping. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, all right. So, y'all didn't get all five, but that's MCing, B boy dancing, which is break dancing, DJing, scratching, fashion. The outfit. Oh, okay. You Absolutely. Know? You just learned me so. The you just learned me so. Okay, you still got okay, three out of five. <laughs> okay, so how about this? Um, what does the acronym for MC stand for? Master of Ceremony. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I, yo, I, I did not know that. that. <laughs> I was like, what kind of ceremonies? What you talking about? <laughs> you can move the crowd. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, another one. So, what's the acronym uh, acronym for DJ? This jockey. Yes. Good. 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 I told you my, my pops is that. Okay. I bet you you can't get this one. What is the birth name of the rapper commonly known as Snoop Dogg? Calvin. Oh shit. <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know his last name. But. He had the most Calvin goofy Bodis. name. I swear. His name is Calvin Cord Cord Bodis. Broadus Jr. Yeah. I, well, I like, know it's Calvin. I was like, who is that? 
Snoop Dogg. Who did Uncle Bob Snoop? Dogg? Okay, so um, one more. No, it's about two more. Name two of your favorite rap groups. Book of and Mr. House. Really? Okay. Back. I don't listen to nobody else, really. Okay, I so listen then. Listen to me and my peoples. All right, so now you have to choose one or the other. You don't have. You don't get to choose two. So. Which Mr. one? Oz. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I respect it. Okay, this is my last question for you. Who besides yourself and Mr. Hodge? Okay, who are your top five dead or alive? Top five dead or alive right now? Yeah, right now. All right, right now I go forward. I'm Jada, my top number one off the rip. Jada, my son, big X to plug. He live right now. Know what I'm saying? Drake. Oh, okay. Know what I mean? Oh. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with my boy on um, my boy on um, Lil Baby. Oh, okay. That's that's my guy. And Vado. That was four, right? And Davies. Okay, good. Okay. I love to hear that. Thank you. Thanks for not hating on Drake. Because people be hating on Drake, bro. <laughs> well, no, nah, I fuck with Drake. I just hate when he put two songs together. <laughs> he does be do a that, fast right? Song, they slow it up at the end. I hate that shit. Right. Well, at the rapper. end, it'd be a whole nother song. Like, chill, bro. <laughs> oh my god. So okay. So that's basically all the questions I have. But um, is there anything that you want to let you know me or anybody know before you go? Look out for everything that's coming your way. That's right. Shout out to Kiwi Talks podcast. Shout out to El Black Over Dushers. Shout out to Swamp City. Shout out to this SGM Dot Game. Shout out to Bogum. Shout out to everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? It's 2024. Stop the violence, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not stressing nothing this year. I'm trying to get this music up and running. Videos is coming soon. I will be releasing dates. If people want to come out, come out. If you don't, hey. You know what I'm yes. saying? But music is coming real soon. Immediately. Uh -huh. I'm talking like, like Easter time type shit. Okay, good, good. And, and go check out that video, Shake Something. It's on Facts. YouTube. Facts. Yes, Facts. Yes, I'm definitely gonna put them in my description so people could go watch it. And appreciate um, you. Yes, I'm gonna put everything you know that you let send me, me know. That, on my send page. me that little thing you did, yo. <laughs> oh yes, I'm gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna send you everything before I actually post it. And um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. You know Anytime, this. man. This is my first interview. You're going to be I'm my gonna get first. get all your links from Book of Knox, all right? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Thank man, you, Mr. Producer. Kiwi Talks, fuck with it. <laughs> run that shit up. Run it up, run it up, run it the fuck up. <laughs> run it the fuck up. And I'm going to be at any of your shows. Like, just hit me up. If I'm going to be like, free Back. to do it, I'm, I'm out. I'm coming out. I got you. Yeah, because we got to support each other. So thank you so much. And we made it work, made it happen. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon, bro. Shout out to Mars, <laughs> too, for the fit. You know that shit. My boy made clothes. Oh, he do all that, man. Yeah, plug you know everybody. Mm -hmm. Plug them all. <laughs> but <laughs> shout out to Kiwi Talks, y'all. Good looking for the interview. You know it. Nothing but love, yeah. sis. See you guys soon. Thank you. All right. Have okay. a good one. All right. Oh my gosh, so I hope you guys liked my episode today. I got to introduce you guys to one of my closest, closest people. And he's uh, super talented, as you guys can see. I, I had an amazing time. This look ate down. You cannot tell me I didn't eat. Sorry, like... The purple, the black, everything is giving. I got my brown sugar kiss charm bracelet on. Everything is everything is decked out. You feel what I'm saying? The nails is dead. The lips is done. The eyes are fluttering. Do you understand me? <laughs> no, let me stop. But um, remember, I want you guys to remember that daily affirmation that I gave earlier the that your beauty radiates from within that really is something that i want to stick with people like let your beauty radiate from within okay or if any young girls watch me or any older girls women whoever men whoever watch me let your beauty radiate from within 
You'll never go wrong by doing that. Trust me, okay? You'll have a good positive life. You'll have positive outcomes, positive people surround you when you have that beautiful inside and not rotten in there. Trust me. Keep that number one. That's my number one daily affirmation. I don't care. I don't care. That's it. That one hits the top of my list. <laughs> so just keep, you know, letting that beauty radiate from within. Everything that I have on today will definitely be in the description bar. This is another Fashion Nova item, of course, because Fashion Nova never, never fails me. You know what I'm saying? The hair done by me. <laughs> makeup done by me <laughs> make sure you guys subscribe you like this video share this video and come back duh you gotta come back so you can be a part of the party are you crazy so i hope you guys like it and soon i'm gonna have more guests Ooh, I got some more guests coming. Ooh, yes. Y'all like today's episode? Y'all gonna love the next episode. I'm telling y'all. So, I see you guys later.